All right, so in this video, we want to talk about how to perform basic operations on fractions and mixed numbers. So one of the first things I want to make sure of is that our calculators are set up the same way. So if you go into mode, that brings you into basically all the different things that you can use to kind of set up your calculator. Um, so let's use our down arrow to scroll down. And the only setting that I have that is different from your default setting, uh, the default being when you purchase the calculator brand new, is that if you go all the way to the bottom, uh, instead of manual simplify, we want it to set up to auto simplify. So you just scroll over and make sure that auto simp is highlighted and press enter. And my calculator auto simp was already set up, but I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page. Once you've done that, go ahead and hit your second button and then mode since it says quit in gray above it. And now we should all have the same settings on our calculator. The first problem we want to do is just a simple addition of fraction problems on the calculator. Now the nice thing about a, uh, the TI-34 calculator is that normally if we were going to add or subtract fractions or mixed numbers, we would need a common denominator. But we, the calculator will do all that work for us, so all we have to do is type it in exactly as it appears. So we want to type in 3 fourths plus 1 ninth. So I hit 3, and then my fraction button, and then 4. Now the important thing is that once I've typed in my denominator of 4, I need to get out of that fraction. So I hit my right arrow, and now I can see that the cursor is blinking to the side. If you do something wrong, the easiest thing to do is just hit clear, and then we can retype it. So it's, it's not too bad. 3, fraction, 4 for the denominator, right arrow to exit out of the first. Now we need our operator. In this case, it's addition. So we hit the addition button. And then 1, and then our fraction button brings us into the denominator, hit 9. Then once again, make sure that you've exited out of the fraction. So hit your right arrow. And I always suggest looking it over. So we have 3 fourths plus 1 ninth, which is exactly what we wanted. So we hit enter. And we're told that this is 31 thirty-sixths. So that is our fully reduced answer since we've already gone into the mode settings and told the calculator to automatically simplify. Let's go ahead and clear our calculator. The next one we want involves some mixed numbers, but this isn't going to be any more difficult than the previous problem. Remember that the N over D button, that's our fraction button. But if we want a mixed number, we look for the one that looks like a mixed number. So U and then N over D. So the first one I want to enter in is 4 and 3 sevenths. So I hit my whole number 4, mixed number button, and then 3, down arrow, 7. So we've got 4 and 3 sevenths. I need to exit out of the denominator, so right arrow. Now I need my operator, which is subtraction. Once again, remember that the dark blue buttons here, those are your operators. This little white button under the 3, that's our negative sign, and we don't need that. There's a big difference between a negative sign and a subtraction operator. So we hit our subtraction button, and then 1, the mixed number button, and then 1 for our numerator, down arrow, and 5 for our denominator, right arrow. And then we hit the enter button. And we're told that the solution to this one is 3 and 8 thirty-fifths. So go ahead and hit our clear button. Now we've got a couple more problems to try. Um, I tried to mix it up in terms of whether we're using fractions or mixed numbers, but really the process is the same. So this is a multiplication problem and the only difference is we're going to use the multiplication operator. So we've got 3 eighths, that's a plain fraction, so we hit 3, fraction button, 8, right arrow to exit out of that. Now remember this dot here is the multiplication operator so we hit our multiplication operator and then 7 and then our mixed number button so we can put in our 1 down arrow 2 and then our right arrow. 
Once again, we should check to make sure that we typed it in right. So we've got 3 eighths times 7 and 1 half, which is what we wanted. So we hit enter. And we find that the answer is 2 and 13 sixteenths. So go ahead and hit clear. And our last example says 2 and 3 fourths divided by 5 twelfths. So if you remember, if you're doing this one by hand, first we'd have to convert this mixed number to an improper fraction. So you'd say 2 times 8, or sorry, 2 times 4 is 8, plus 3 is 11. So it would give us 11 fourths divided by 5 twelfths. And then we'd keep the 11 fourths, we would change the division to multiplication, and then we'd take the reciprocal of 5 twelfths, or flip it upside down to give us 12 over 5. So it's, it's quite a process. In the calculator, you don't have to worry about any of that. You're just going to type it in exactly as it appears. So we hit 2, mixed number button, 3, down arrow, 4, right arrow. And then we hit our division button. And now we just want a plain fraction. So it's 5, fraction button, 12. And then our right arrow. Once again, we've got our 2 and 3 fourths, 2 and 3 fourths divided by, and then 5 twelfths. Okay, so everything's in right, we hit enter, and it tells us that our answer is 6 and 3 fifths. And then you can just hit your clear to get that out of your calculator.